Welcome. We back. You want to know this song? I don't even know this song. All right. Back in action. Let us find a Plantera bowl. Because obviously, my favorite thing about fighting Plantera is making the arena. This is the worst thing about fighting Plantera. It has to be. This, this arena has a lot of verticality. I don't think I need verticality. We will have a lot of room in terms of uh, the balls com coming down here and just bouncing around. I need to get partnered on Twitch. That's a lot harder than it sounds. I can't just sit in a jacuzzi fucking naked. So, like, it takes a little bit more effort for me to get partnered on Twitch. Am I going to die? Yes. <laughs> I was I'm looking at my watching help. some Terraria videos recently. I think I found my favorite Terraria content creator. Gamers 101. No, I'm kidding. Company Eggs. That's his name. I don't know if you guys seen his videos before, but, like, amazing videos. He made a six-minute video of a whole playthrough using just a musket and then like all the memes and stuff in the video are so good all right so what's the best wings i can make right now is it butterfly this is old terraria i'm pretty sure they're they're better than what we have currently i'm just gonna make them what other accessories can we upgrade can we upgrade this yet I'm, i think we can actually perfect look at that didn't even need to buy anything uh, what's the name of the boots firestorm amazing all right fuck it i'm using i'm using the sky bridge. no the sky bridge is the one that does all of it oh god we want the one that isn't the sky bridge i don't have the one that is the sky bridge all right i'm doing it manually then so from the bot yeah i can't do this <laughs> i can't do this with a million enemies always attacking me i'm just spacing out can tell your bosses survive because people get mad when i make a consistent series I make a consistent series and people are like, hey, yo, this dude's running out of ideas. Anyone agree? It's like, bro, it's a series. I can make a summoner series and I'll be on like episode three and like, hey, yo, he's running out of ideas. He has to make three episodes of this? Third episode of the summoner? This motherfucker not know how to make new videos? What they should have did for the fucking corruption in NPCs. They should have just made it so NPCs, if they live in a corrupted area, they get angrier, meaning they charge up, bring up their prices. You know, like the feature they added into 1.4, where if they don't like their living area, they get mad and they charge up their prices. But that's what we got mods for. Models will figure it out for us. And don't get me started on the fucking mine carts. How is there 30 new mine carts or some shit? And they all go the same damn speed. <laughs> Who was copy and pasting the mine cart code? You could have just changed that. I know how coding works. You could have just changed the damn speed. You would have just had to type like one number. I know how coding works. So it's not that hard. Good I aspected. We'll say the name. You'll get your respect for the life fruit spotting. One more. I'm about to die. Ah! How did I not activate that boulder before? All right, whatever. We're good enough. I'm too lazy to find more. I'm going to fight the eye on the tip. I mean, on the handle. How's my day going? It's going good. Don't ask for a story after you ask for my day. <laughs> I do have some stories, actually. I, to I told some stories during the uh, co-op stream. I'm going to tell them again. What am I becoming a porn star? I don't know. The views have been kind of low recently, so uh, you know, I've been tempted. Right. <laughs> oh, look. Our last life fruit. What? What? Can I spawn in a life fruit? We just saw that happen. <laughs> It just vanished from existence. I was I was hyped too. I was like, hey, we got our last life fruit. I don't even gotta do anything. See, this is how I like my Terrier boss fights. No like thinking. Just like running around in a circle. This is the life right here. Out. We all know the worst thing about playing Terror is this shit right here. The second phase. I hate the second phase so much. Oh, hit her with the loop de loop. The loop de loop. She didn't expect it. I need a better grappling hook. Why do I still have this garbage ass grappling hook? I have the fucking Skeletron hand, bro. What kind of amateur shit is this? I'm dead. I'm just getting fucking juggled. What would you say if I told you Plantera Rule 34 exists? It's Rule 34. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. What's been my favorite sponsorship? Uh, Ridge was cool. I got another wallet company sponsorship coming up. Exter, they make cool wallets too. Uh, I like Raid Shadow Legends. The sponsorship was like so easy to do. They like supplied me with like all the footage and stuff. Like I barely had to do that much in terms of like having to record. How much did you lie about the table? What, the standing desk? It's a good desk. What was there to lie about? Standing desks do literally change your lifestyle. If you're a person that works at desk all day, like a standing desk is amazing for you. Like I, I mean, I used my my desk recently for standing mode and like that shit's awesome. You think that like having to stand up and do shit, like play games and stuff, isn't that fun? It's pretty fucking fun. Tell us the time you were arrested for aggravated assault. 
I don't remember that very, very, very well. Oh, let me tell that story from the other stream. I don't know if you guys, how many people were there for the co-op stream. I'm pretty sure I told this thing, co-op stream. Me, me and two of my other friends, we went to McDonald's once. There's a McDonald's by my house we always used to go to after high school, during high school. And um, <laughs> we went there once. And we went to like the corner, the booth in the corner to eat our food. And these two like old dudes sat next to us. They look like they're pretty damn old, like 50s, 60s. There's this kid and, and his mom came in. And the kid didn't get the toy he wanted, so he started crying. This kid was crying loud as hell, bruh. He was crying so damn loud, like it was, it was bugging me and my friends too, but the fucking old dude next to us, his friend gets up to go to the bathroom, so it's just one old dude sitting next to us, and uh, the kid is like crying louder and louder and it's starting to annoy everybody, and the dude goes, somebody shut that fucking kid up, and then it just gets like super quiet. <laughs> And then me and my friends, are, we're like at the table next to him, and we're fucking dying. <laughs> we're, trying to hide, we're trying to hide our laughs while we eat our food. And then uh, his friend comes back from the bathroom. He's like, what happened? And he's like, <laughs> he tells his friend, he's like, I just told a fucking kid to shut the hell up. <laughs> He's not like so hyped about it. I remember when I used to work at Target, I walked home one night from Target, which is crazy. It was a long ass walk. But, but I, I couldn't drive at the time and my mom was, uh, she was at work. So I walked home and uh, I went to McDonald's to grab some food before I went home. And then it was like, it was like 9, 10 p.m. And there's this like homeless dude in there. And this dude, he was chowing down. He was fucking growling and shit too. So I was like, I'm trying to get my food and get the hell out of here. I don't trust this dude. Motherfucker was eating his food. He's like, nah, nah, nah. I was like, what the fuck? I'm trying to get out of here. They should know me and my friends at that McDonald's because it's still the same workers that work there. They should know. I should be able to walk into that McDonald's and be like, yeah, let me get the, the Game Raiders meal. The thing is, like, I've seen another person, like, act like a zombie before. 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and I was laying on my bed. And my bed is right next to the window. So I could usually hear like everything outside if I open my window and I had my window open because I think it was hot that day And I just hear like it's super quiet and then I look outside and I see some dude just walking across the street And he's walking around like a fucking zombie, bro He's walking around like a zombie. He's like growling and shit and I'm like, what the fuck am I witnessing? And I remember some of my friends might remember because they were still in a discord call And I hopped in the discord chat. I'm like, hey, yo, I saw a fucking zombie outside bro i don't know if he was role playing or some shit he sounds like he needs the game raiders meal how will your editor gets highlights out of this bro i just told a story <laughs> i just told like three stories that's three highlights right there oh i remember when you and ryan fucked right that was the story you must have, this must be a different story i wasn't a part of this i remember me and my friend we went trick-or-treating one time and it was just me and him and we we're going around the neighborhood and we hit up we hit up a bunch of areas we were like we were like probably 13 14 at the time we hit up already a bunch of areas, so we're like, let's take a break. Let's sit down for a second. So we sat down on the curb, and then, like, right behind us, there was this bush, and the bush was, like, shaking. And we looked behind us. We're like, what the fuck? Is there something in that bush? And then after a second, we, we look away from the bush, and we start talking to each other again. And then we hear just something shoot out of the bush. We look behind us. It's a fucking skunk chasing us. We were like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Took our running down the street, bro. Oh, hell no. I was not about to get sprayed. I was out. I, put on, I had to put on the fucking... Uh, the boosters right there that shit was funny i always remember this <laughs> god damn this is expensive bro ah it hurts every time i press this it hurts oh perfect <laughs> i remember the other day me and my friend we went to the mall it was the other day it was like a couple weeks at this point me and my friend we went to the mall we were just looking around for clothes because this is right before we were about to go to la and then we we're about to leave and these two dudes walk up to us and they're like hey you got a minute and we we're like what's up and they're like telling us religious stuff they're trying to get us to like uh join their church or whatever and then like i was my friend he was the main one talking to them i wasn't even trying to make eye contact with these guys i'm just trying to get out because we're hungry we're trying to go eat and they're trying to they're talking to us and then one of them like talks to me he's like what about what about you and i'm like what do you mean what about me you look like you're interested you look like we're about to catch you with this and i'm like the fuck do you mean? I'm looking at the floor over here, bro. I'm like, I'm not interested at all. And they're like, you sure? And it's like, I'm positive. These motherfuckers. I'm not even looking in their direction. He's like, he looks like he was about to be interested. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what do you mean? Look like, I look like I was about to be interested. <laughs> like, I'm not even looking in the same direction you people are. <laughs> That's like the, the people that try and clean your shoes at the mall. What the fuck? 
We have a calming potion on us. What is this? Why am I getting jumped? I was in here for five seconds. Tell some Target stories. I remember like the owner of Target when it was like my first week there. The owner of that Target, you know how like there's a person that owns each store. They're like the store owner. So he was the owner of the Target. And it was like my first week there. I'm still getting used to stuff. And there was a bunch of like people that walked past me that apparently looked like they needed some help. And the owner saw that and he was like, hey, come over here. It's like, ask some of these people if they need help or something. They look like they need help. And I was like, oh, shoot, my bad. I'll make sure to ask. So then, like, the next person that was, like, close to us, I was like, hey, sir. I was, like, really loud. I was like, hey, sir, you need some help? And I looked at the I looked at the store owner, and he's, like, nodding his head. He's like, yes, sir, there we go. And then I never asked another person again. Like that. I'm the type of motherfucker to go disappear if you ask me to find something in the back. Never, like, go step over the line to be extra at a minimum wage job. You literally don't get paid enough to do that. Like, when I worked at Ross, they had me, like, fill in for security sometimes. Which is my favorite thing to do. Because as a security person at Ross, literally in the rules, it tells you not even to, like, mess with people. Like, don't even, like, try and, like, take the stuff they stole back. Like, don't even do nothing. So when I worked at Ross and they uh, put me on security sometimes, I, I straight up would just, like, I would see somebody steal. I wouldn't even call that shit in. I wouldn't even tell my manager, like, if somebody's being sus. I'd be like, oh, you got it, bro. You can have it. I don't get paid enough to fucking... <laughs> at Ross, bro, like, yeah, if I was your cashier at Ross, you know, it's a blessing. I was giving out free shit sometimes. Like, if I could not find the price tag, I would just be like, all right, you can have it for free. And, like, some people, some people would question it. They'd be like, they'd be like, oh, how much is this? You didn't scan it. And I was like, bro, just be quiet. I'm letting you have it for free. Like, if they start asking too many questions, like, oh, you didn't scan it. What's the, where's the price? I'm like, all right, I'm going to make us some bullshit. I'm going to give you a price. You ruined your chance. You could have got it for free, but he kept talking. Because, you know, once they start talking, it's like the people next to me start hearing it. The other cashiers start hearing it. And I'm like, all right, you fumbled, bro. You fumbled. I was giving it to you for free, but since you're asked, talking too damn much. I have to find some bullshit price and give it to you, you know? Okay, I wanted more head. More headroom because I was getting hit. I got hit by the bouncing balls a couple of times. I remember one time this dude walked in. He walked into Ross. The motherfucker didn't have a backpack on. He leaves it. He has a backpack on. We're like, sir, you stole that backpack. And the motherfucker's like, huh? And I remember it was like the end of the day, too. Like, I wasn't even working for security. I was, I was just on my regular shift cleaning up the area and then we're going down the escalator it's me and then the guy who's on security and we see the guy in front of us with the backpack and he's like wearing the backpack underneath his coat like in the most like sus way possible and i remember me and the security guard we look at each other and we like we both point at him we're like what the fuck is this guy doing <laughs> what is he doing you think he's getting away with this shit he got away with this shit we didn't do anything though i remember like my manager and the security guard they were questioning him at the door and they're like bro we know you stole that he, I think my manager, she was like, if you go through the scanner and nothing beeps, then we'll let you go. And he went through the scanner. Apparently, he took off all the, like, alarm tags and shit, and they just let him go. But we know he stole some shit. <laughs> we know he stole some shit. He did not have that backpack on. And it's funny because, like, after he walked through the scanner and it didn't go off, he, like, looked back at my manager and the security guard, and he was like, see, I told you. He told us, man. You got us. But yeah, I know the difference between, like, Ross security and Target security. At Target, like, they're allowed to, like, tackle your ass and shit. Still not worth it. <laughs> like, I remember the head of security at Ross, though, like, what did I just do? He would still try and, like, take the stuff away from people. Like, maybe, I don't know, maybe he just was, like, pissed off some days and he just wanted some beef, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember some dude had, like, a cart full of stuff or, like, a basket full of stuff. And it was, like, Ross has some weird, weird-ass baskets you can take around with you. It's, like, a basket with two wheels. It looks like a hamper, pretty much. And some dude had, like, stuff full of it and he was about to run out. And I remember the security guard, he, like, grabbed that, grabbed that shit. But then he like kind of missed a little bit. So he like looked like a fool for a second when he went to grab it. And then he had to like act tough after that. He's like, give me that shit. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Back up. I can smell your breath. I've never seen Plantera get that close and just like stay that close. See, I don't know if it was the arena, the armor or what. But like that fight was like 10 times easier than the original. The thing is, you know the golem fight's going to be easy. Yeah, I remember at Target a couple of times, even at Ross. I think like once I got it. No, actually, I remember at Ross, there was like $10 sitting in a cart. 
And I snagged that shit. You know I snagged that shit. Bag getter mentality, you know what I'm saying? I saw like 10 bucks in the cart when I was pushing all the carts back. And I was like, hey, yo. I looked around for a second. I went, hey, yo. That's mine. And I remember at Target, I like helped a lady bring stuff out to her car. Pretty sure she was an older lady too. So it was like honestly expected of me to help her out. I remember she like just slid like $10 in my hand. Or $15 in my hand. And I was like, damn. Welcome. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to notice why clicker classes are. Well, I've noticed this before. It's the range, bro. If I leave the range of the boss, that means that I can't do damage. But if I don't leave the range of the boss, look, I'm getting fucking fisted. <laughs> hey, I don't like that there's a new enemy down here. Just kill the paladin before we die. I'm dead. The thing that's beating my ass is these enemies from the mod. Sucker line is nice because he might run into Mr. Beast and get paid. See, that's an investment right there. Moving out to South Carolina just because Mr. Beast is out there. Just because there's a chance that you can be a part of a Mr. Beast video. That's a goddamn investment. Mini boss. This is a free hard mode mini boss, so hopefully it doesn't kill me. New record. Boom, upgrade. Maybe an upgrade, I don't know. I mean, there's more damage than these two, at least. One click, phase reach. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> we found greatness. Who told me to craft it? Burrito. Thank you for telling me to craft it. They ever make a new punch out? They put Donkey Kong in punch out. Let's put the gold in punch out. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Almost lost a lot of health than I should have right there. I got stuck in that corner. It's the fucking dash. I like the game my dad would play with my mom before they got divorced. Punch out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Imagine being a picky eater, but you eat ass. Like, that shit just don't make sense. I don't like pickles on my sandwich. Eats raw ass. <laughs> no, I will never disrespect somebody that's a picky eater. Or a chicken tender enjoyer. Not because, like, I'm one myself, but, like, let them eat what they want to eat. If a motherfucker wants to eat chicken tenders, let them eat chicken tenders. If a motherfucker doesn't want pickles on their food, let a motherfucker doesn't want pickles on their food. You know who I do hate, though? I hate motherfuckers that eat, motherfuckers that only eat a salad. Like, it's fine, you can get a salad on the side with your meal. But motherfuckers that only go there and eat a salad, it's like, bro, what are you doing? We didn't go to this fucking special restaurant so you can eat grass. Go outside or something, bro. If I ever go out with a bitch and she orders a salad, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell the people on the way out. I'm gonna be like, she got the check. Motherfucker, <laughs> sucking dick and saying they're vegan. <laughs> oh, drank my milk and called herself vegan. You got bitches swallowing kids out here and they'll tell you that they're vegan. It's like you just murdered somebody. Homicide, bro. Yeah, double homicide. It's like really funny. Like when I was when it was like senior year of high school and like the year after senior year. Like, I was in, like, the best shape of my life. I was not eating fucking salads. I was not scarfing down vegetables. The way I got skinny, bro, was literally just eating, like, <laughs> the way I wanted. But, like, I just, like, maintained my calorie count. I played basketball all the time. Like, I, I should have just, was just eating fucking meat with, like, a fucking carrot. And I was in the best shape of my life. I wasn't doing all that shit. That's really all you gotta do to lose weight, no cap. Unless you're trying to get, like... Chisel or some shit. I mean, if you want to get chiseled, go ahead. I liked his name when he was Nutsack. Can I get him back to Nutsack? Rags. These all sound like Uber Eats drivers. I know this motherfucker isn't trying to move in while I'm doing this. <laughs> Nox. <laughs> That's a good name right there. Oh, I don't like that one. Nub. We're going with Nub. I like Nub. Boom. Upgrades. True Holy Nub. Yeah, thank you everyone for coming. Join the raid if you want Casimir coins.